What's going on, everybody? I want to talk to you about the brand new cheapest army in Age of Sigmar. That's right. You heard it here first. There's been a lot of talk about the new giant price tag of the Sons of Behemoth. And let's get into why this army is actually much, much cheaper if you look outside of Games Workshop. Of course, you're going to have to buy the book. And I'm going to base this on the fact that you probably still want one of those new giants. So whether you make your uh, Gatebreaker or War Stomper or Kraken Eater, whatever, I think they're very cool. So let's jump over, and I just want to show you what I'm talking about here. Oh, wrong button. Here we go. Let's accept the cookies. All right, here we go. So Sons of Behemoth coming out on pre-order this weekend. And here's a picture of the size comparison. Now, this giant here is, of course, massive. But the Gargant or Ale Guzzler or whatever giant from GW, this little guy over here, he's not all that big. If you've seen him before, he's not even as tall as some of the other monsters in Age of Sigmar. So he's very, very easy to replace. Now, let's assume you want to start this army. These little guys, they actually look like, with some of the faction rules, are getting quite a bit buffed up. And you might want three, six, maybe even nine of them. So we're going to jump into why this might actually not be as expensive army as you think. And you can make a lot of really cool themes. So let's say, for example, you take this guy here, the War Stomper. You buy him, he's about 200 bucks. Now they're charging like, I don't know. 60 or 70 dollars per little giant which is absurd because i'm pretty sure they used to charge like 40 for that guy i don't know something like that the two pack used to be i think 75 dollars for two of these and now it's 125 dollars so in standard gw trying to get that money <laughs> they are raising the prices on those also just a little warning i do make some pricing videos and if you like pricing videos, please subscribe or comment, hit the like button, all those good things. We're always talking about Warhammer. Please subscribe. It helps the channel. Uh, these big giants, them coming in at like $195 or whatever, is now going to set this new standard of what an expensive model is. And GW does this quite a bit, I believe, where now, because of this giant's 195 you're supposed to think that techless is oh he's only 170 he's not as much as the giant even though they're definitely screwing you on the price of techless as well uh and of course the prices are raising over time whatever but that's just my thought on it so let's get into it real quick you got these three builds all of them look pretty cool i don't really like the way as much stuff is like dangling off the kraken eater i think that's a little much this stuff like the hanging guy from the boat hanging net thing, hanging stuff. I don't know. It's a lot of little things hanging off this guy. It doesn't quite work for me, but he's still a cool model. And not even basing this on the rules, let's jump into the idea that you're going to field one big guy, nine little guys. So you pick up your giant. This guy's the best looking, I think. So boom, you buy him. He's 200 bucks. Now let's jump over to Reaper Bones. Reaper Bones has a ton of giants for about $13, $10. Now, these giants, let's click one. They're not huge, but they're pretty beefy. And with a little bit of cork or mud or basing material, you could boost them up. So you, all you need is the right base size. And you're going to be able to get these looking just about the same size as these little gargants over here. And you can theme them, right? So... Just Reaper Bones, for example, they have Hill Giants, they have Frost Giants, they have Fire Giants, and Storm Giants, and possibly Cloud Giants. Oh, here's a Stone Giant. This one's not a great model, but, you know, <laughs> whatever. Uh, you get the point on that. Let's jump. Like, if you want to do... I have this guy, actually, in my collection. He's pretty cool. And he's 13 bucks. Like, put him on a big base. Put him on the right size oval here. He's going to fill it out. He's probably going to stand close to shoulder height of this guy. But if you stack him up on the taller base, you could easily get him just big, 13 bucks. And, you know, these giants are going to vary in quality. Obviously, GW makes awesome models. 
but that's not kind of what we're getting at. We're basically saying you can make this army pretty cool and save some money. So let's say you bought this Frost Giant Bodyguard, maybe a Frost Giant Warrior here, maybe a couple of these, maybe a couple of the Bodyguards. All of a sudden you got six little Frost Giants and you only have to buy, say, two of the new big ones, something like that. And that's going to be a reoccurring theme in this video. Uh, it's basically the more of the little ones, these guys, you want in your army, the cheaper this army is, as long as you don't buy these little guys from GW. So later on, though, where I'm going to show you a couple really solid examples of how to replace this big guy or get a second big guy for cheaper. Now, if you play at the Games Workshop store, they obviously aren't going to say, hey, bring in your Reaper Bones. Let's... Uh, play a game, right? You can't bring in outside models. But anyway, Reaper Bones has a lot of giant options. This is just on their website. All I did was type in giant into the search bar. Lots of cool models. Some of them are pretty darn cool. This guy here, the, let's just show you him. The Jailer? I have him also. I've seen people turn him into a giant Gazgol type model by replacing his head with like an orc head. But yeah, on this big lava rock base that this person did, like, he's going to be easily as big as the little Gargan. Now, he's from, like, shoulder to toe, maybe not as tall, but his overall profile is going to fill in this space the same. And he looks cool. Also, with these giants, there's all kinds of room for conversions and kit bashing and all kinds of cool stuff you could do, all kinds of themes. But how easy would it be to buy a bunch of these fire giants from Reaper Bones, paint this guy up like a fire giant, and boom, you got a whole themed, like, awesome-looking army of giants, and you get to enjoy the new rules. Now, I still don't like Age of Sigmar. I think the game's poor. But maybe if this giant army's fun, maybe I'll look at... Because I wouldn't mind actually painting up one of these big boys. So, and I don't actually mind painting up maybe some of these Reaper Bones giants or that sort of thing. Plus, I could always sell them on eBay if I decide not to play. Anyway, let's move on. So I'm going to close this one out. Here's a fun one. This is the Giant Ape from WizKids. This model's actually pretty big. Like, if you've seen this in your local game store, this is a pretty big gorilla. And he's 15 bucks. He's not expensive at all. Let's say maybe you turn this guy into like a zookeeper or something like that, right? He's the gate breaker because he freed all the animals from the zoo. You could easily buy three of these. Now they're going to be a little samey on pose. Maybe you could cut the arms and change them a bit. And it's kind of easy to sculpt fur. Like if you're ever going to want to try and learn how to do some sculpting, which I really don't, uh, fur is probably the best place to start. Anyway, three of these gorillas, 45 bucks. You've got a squad of three gargants. I'm thinking this is actually a really cool way to do it. Uh, maybe you don't want nine of these gorillas or six of them because it might get a little too samey there. But if you had a theme of, say, hill giants, you buy three of the Reaper Bones. Hill giants is like wild giants. Three of these gorillas is maybe wild animal giants. Not a bad idea. I think this gorilla here, and oh man, would this be fun to paint. Like so fast, so fun to get these gorillas painted. Now, you may not want an army of gorillas, so let's move on. WizKids also makes uh, storm giants, and they have a frost giant with axes. This storm giant, he's pretty awesome. He's like a big Zeus-like character, or like a Thor, Norse mythology character. Very, very easy to cut this lightning bolt off. Very easy to change this weapon. If you cut this whole sword off, you could give him something there or just to make him bare-fisted like he's punching. And there's a lot of Storm Giant options in combination with WizKids here with this one and some of the ones from Reaper Bones, and I think some of the other ones we'll see later. But 15 bucks, Storm Giant. He's pretty big as well. The problem you're going to run into uh, as far as, like, say, this WizKids, if you wanted the Gorillas or the Storm Giants or the Frost Giants that they make, they only make one. So you're going to have three of this exact same guy, probably probably don't want that. He's cool, but I don't think you want three of them in a unit because I don't know how you would replace them. At least with the gorillas, you know, they're animals. They're not doing the, I don't know. It just seems like three gorillas is going to look better than three of these guys standing next to each other. 
but he's still a very cool giant model. And if you're going Storm Giant or whatever, he's definitely worth picking up for 15 bucks. Now, Reaper Bones 5 Kickstarter. Here's where we're going to get into it a little bit. Uh, this Storm Giant here coming out from Reaper Bones, this is in the Kickstarter, so he's not out yet. He's $12. He's probably going to be like $15 when retail when he comes out. If he's in the new Reaper Bones black material, the material's so much better. They're more rigid. Swords and things are less like noodled over. Very, very cool. So this Kickstarter, these models haven't shipped yet. I am a backer on this one. Uh, you can see here I backed this $120 pledge. But uh, you got this Storm Giant here. If we scroll down just for a little bit, we have, here's some more kind of monsters. I don't know if you want dragons to count as giants, but uh, let me show you. So here's a giant Oni if you want like samurai gargants. And these aren't necessarily out for retail yet. Big Cyclops, awesome, awesome hill giant type model. How perfect would he fit in with like this guy? Big Gargant, big Cyclops, very cool. Uh, here's a bronze golem. If you can want to mix up your storm giants, you can paint that right. Cloud giant also would make a good storm giant. Fan a female one. So get excited about Reaper Bones if you weren't already from the first little tab because they got more giants and cool stuff coming out. If you're doing I don't know how they're going to ally exactly, but, you know, there's some deep sea giant here. And this one's going to be awesome, right? Sea giant. Like, depending on how big this guy is, he's still obviously a concept art. But if he's even close to the size as a Kraken Eater, and he's going to be like 20 bucks probably, $25 because it's Reaper Bones. Like, how awesome is that? You could buy one Sons of Behemoth Kraken Eater one of these as your second Kraken Eater, and already you're saving like $150 on having two. Perfect, perfect idea. There's also, uh, I don't know if we're going to see him, but there is a Undead Giant. Oh, this guy here, uh, he's a work in progress, the Man Lord. Now let's say you're doing some kind of animalistic hill giant tribe. I don't know how big this guy's going to be, but he's like a mammoth giant. So he might work well with, say, the gorillas. He also is going to work well with this next model I'm going to show you here in a second. Uh, this crazy demon thing. I don't know how big it is. Who knows? Anyway, there's in this Kickstarter, too, there's an undead giant. So we might see that at retail. Awesome. So this next one, Creature Caster, $119. So about $120. If you go to, like, an LVO or a Depticon, if those ever come back, a lot of times Creature Caster is going to be there. Don't think they're giving you really any deal while they're there. Can't remember. Uh, sometimes if you get them in a bundle, you can get a deal. This guy is big. Like, he's a big boy. And he's got that centaur giant kind of vibe. He's half, I guess, dragon. He'd make a really good, like, Shagoth or something for your uh, Warhammer army for if you're playing, what, like, dragon ogres or something. But, man, he's awesome. And let's say... You take, I mean, he could easily be a war stomper or gate breaker or kraken eater. I don't know. Lizards oftentimes can swim. Iguanas and stuff swim. Turtles swim. <laughs> Things like that. But uh, so even with a little bit of bits, I don't know. This model is beautiful. And he's only $120. I think he's comparable in quality for sure to like a big GW giant like this. And he's going to be what? 70 dollars 75 dollars less so you're saving 75 dollars not too shabby if you bought one sons of behemoth kraken eater that big sea giant for whatever he when he comes out from reaper and this guy you have three giant giants that's part of the <laughs> words there but uh the you're saving a lot of money right it's not as expensive as it looks right off the bat it's going to be really expensive if you buy the all GW model giant army. But I think this army too is going to give you a little bit more leeway as far as your opponent's not going to be. Like if you're using a bunch of little Reaper bone skeletons as your like OCR bone reapers or something, people might get a little antsy. Maybe they don't want to necessarily play against it or an event. But some of these big epic giants I think are going to, you know, be perfect and fit right in. Um... I don't know why it just automatically clicked over to this, but this guy is my favorite uh, 
model from Creature Caster. I actually own this guy. He's pretty big. You could change the head to a more humanoid head and have a, another Kraken Eater, and he's $70. So another great option. Let me close him out. Kings of War Frost Giant, 60 uh, pound, I guess. This guy's pretty awesome. Now his base sucks because he's on the stupid square base from old olden times. <laughs> but he's a good, highly detailed giant model. And let's assume you don't want him as a frost giant. Well, then don't paint him blue, right? These don't have to be ice. They could be rock or obsidian or granite or whatever, right? Uh, you could even cut this part off probably easy enough and turn this into some kind of mace or axe. Not too hard. I mean, I don't know exactly how big this is, but let's say you just cut right here and glue come some kind of spiky ball on the end, big mace, or some kind of uh, rectangular prism, get a big sledgehammer. Awesome. This guy is going to fit in perfect. I think they're going to sell a lot of these. He's got all the actual good details of like a GW model. The paint job's phenomenal on this. So this guy is a winner. I think he's going to be very, very popular. And I'm pretty sure he's very big. Like, I don't have any pictures saved, but try to find the Kings of War Frost Giant standing next to other models. And he is a big giant. So you're going to see him. He's... And for, what, 60 pounds? So what is he, half price? Isn't it like 120 pounds for... Oh, I can turn him to USD. Let's see. I didn't even know I could get $60. <laughs> he's like less than a third of the price. I think he's actually as... He's 18 centimeters tall. I'm not sure exactly how tall that is. But even if he's not quite as tall as this guy, he's right up there. Right, and with a little bit of unique basing, he's just as big. Easy. Could easily be one of these. Actually, if you were good at converting, too, and you could figure out a way to maybe get this weapon off, you could probably make buy two of these and make them unique enough. Because really, if you have three of this exact same giant, you're running into the same problem that I'm talking about as buying three of these. Right? They're going to look very much the same. And your first and best, easiest option is going to be to cut the weapon off and put something else in their hand. And that's going to immediately change, you know, that silhouette of the model. Another option, of course, too, is doing something with the head. You could do like a head swap. I don't know how easy the heads are going to swap in between the builds. It looks like the head and neck are kind of attached. Yeah, like, it seems like each neck and shoulder area determines which head's going to fit sort of thing, but we'll see. But yeah, definitely, I'm actually considering picking up this guy in my research here for this video. Uh, it's just, I've been having a lot of fun looking at giants online. And I think you're going to have a lot of fun too if you just go on Google and start typing in resin giant, plastic giant, giant miniature. Uh, I don't think I have any of them saved, but at the end I'll get into another thing you can look for. But yeah, 60 bucks, I mean, that's not bad. And he looks fun to paint. So I might actually pick this guy up. They have, um, let me see if he pops up. They actually have another giant, this guy right here, $40. I've seen a size comparison of this model. Oh, look, he's got, oh, wow. He's actually got, uh, look, there he is with a club and his arm down. There he is with a different head, a little shield, a big axe, a cleaver. This guy is bigger than these Gargans. I've seen a size comparison picture of him next to these little gargants. He's taller. He's somewhere in, like, chin height of this guy, probably. So, on a little bit of boost for 40 bucks, like, you could probably squeeze out another big boy out of this. Or use him as your little guys. And he's a pretty cool-looking one. And the fact that they have options right off the bat. Oh, boy. Three of those for 120 bucks. Not too shabby. So definitely check out Mantic, those two giants. That frost one, I think, is a real winner. And this one, geez, he's, what is he? Yeah, $40. Another win. So for 100 bucks, you could get these two giants and save $100. So that's cool. Close them out. Uh, another quick thing, just typing in resin giant into eBay. You can 
jump on and see people have models. This model is pretty cool. I don't know what it is. I mean, it's a cool giant. It's hard to tell exactly how big he is, but he's got a lot of character in his face. He's like 30 bucks from this seller, Gout Boy. And let's see, they don't really mention, oh, 65 mil. So, oh, so he's not very big. Never mind. Let's maybe, maybe don't get him. I don't think he's very big. Uh, but if you scroll down here, you got some kind of Asgard giant monster, 28 mil. Uh, I don't know what his actual height is. But this one I noticed, just on the picture here, he's not like the best looking giant I've ever seen. 35 40 bucks if this is say a standard like empire or free guild troop he's pretty big he's probably as big as this guy maybe a little bigger 40 bucks buy two for and you save a couple dollars so white metal games look down here they may have some let's see he's on a 50 mil base See, assemble figure stands four and three quarters inch tall, about five inches tall with the base. So he's probably right on size with this guy. I don't remember how big he is. But anyway, there you go. Check out eBay. Type in resin giant or plastic giant, and you'll be on your way to finding some cool stuff. Here's another two. We have uh, it was Atlantis Miniatures has two giants for. 70 bucks about they're normally like a hundred I would not pay a hundred for these but there you go with the stick 167 millimeters tall it's a pretty big model and if you can squeeze out a little bit of height on the base easily can run him as one of your big giants I believe let's check out the other one this guy I don't think they ever tell you how big he is but, like I said, oh, here we go, approximately 133 millimeters tall. So 70 bucks, buff them up on the base, give them some height, and you probably got another decent looking big giant to stand next to your more stomper from GW. And they have, oh, let's see if you, he'll pop up. Uh, this guy's big too, the Cyclops. He's pulling a tree out of the ground. He's got a pretty cool looking face and, you know, he's a nice looking giant, $77. There's probably shipping too. So you're not saving a ton of money, but if you can use, you know, if you can manage to use this guy, a lot of cool detail, as your big 142 mil at highest point. So once we know the exact measurement of those other giants, you'll have a better idea if like this is the right choice for you. But let's say this guy is perfect, right? He fits perfect for that army. Man, you could buy three of them for the price. You could buy one of each of the ones I just showed you from this website and have your whole <laughs> uh, army basically done. I was just clicking this guy. Let's see, he's approximately 125 mil mountain troll. Um, you know, maybe if you were doing the gorillas, maybe you do three gorillas and three trolls, something like that. If you want some more savage giants. Also, they got this big yeti. So there you go. Uh, he's 58, so he's not nearly as cheap as a $15 gorilla model. But, you know, get a couple of these guys to mix in with your gorillas. Pretty cool stuff, right? War bear. I don't know. How big is the war bear? 60. So he's not big enough. Anyway, check out Atlantis Miniatures for some other giant options. Next up, type in resin giant into Etsy. And you got some things popping up. Now, the quality of some of these varies wildly. Uh, obviously, you just want to get a crystal dagger instead. <laughs> but let's just jump in and see. I don't know how big these guys are. This model's sweet, though. Frost giant. Possible it's not nearly big enough. But he's summoning some kind of wolf magic. He's got all the great detail. Assuming he's big enough. Mixing in this frost giant with some of the other frost giants from WizKids and Reaper Bones. You might be able to squeeze out six or nine different ones with definitely with some con minor conversion work. You could probably knock out about nine different little giants. 
$22.50. I mean, unless he's little, 100 millimeter tall. No, so that's not even that small. Like, he's pretty decent size. I, once again, I wish I knew the exact height of this guy. If you know, please leave it in the comments. That way somebody, if they see it, they can use it as a reference. So if you know the height, maybe the top of this guy's head, you know, in millimeters, let me know. But another one that really stood out to me was this one. Another ice giant or frost giant. He's 65 bucks. It looks like, uh, oh, never mind. He's 80 bucks because you want the big one. But he's a cool looking, like just barbarian giant, frost giant, like awesome. Let's say you take this guy or this guy, maybe any of them, paint them up more frosty. You get that mantic frost giant. You get this frost giant, assuming he's 100 millimeter tall, maybe with some basing, you can boost them up to the right size or use them as your one of your many little giants. And all this is, of course, going to depend on rules, right? You want to make, if you're going to play this army, you want it to not get completely decimated in one shooting phase. But I think this model's really good. Now, at 80 bucks, I th originally thought he was 65, but I was looking at the wrong thing. So 100 mil, 80 bucks. He's still, if you could use him as a big boy, uh, totally, totally worth it because he's like $120 savings. <laughs> and he's awesome. Like, this is a really good, I think this model's really good. He doesn't suffer from the GW thing of like, oh, we need to put like 45 extra trinkets on everything. Like, every single thing doesn't need to be loaded with trinkets. But that's how they like to do it these days. So anyway, I think this model's definitely worth checking out. If you have one of these, I'd love to see it. And last up, I found this one on Etsy as well. Fire Giant, Skull Crusher, and he's got options. He's got Fist and Axe for $22.50, Two-Handed Axe for $22.50, Fist and Maul for $22.50, Two-Handed Maul, $22.50. Uh, he's just over four inches tall, 100 millimeter resin. So you got four Giants with no conversion work. Now, the Quality, you're going to want to, like, they look good, especially in these pictures, like the renders. The print, it looks good enough. And I think with paint and a little bit of, you know, painting skill, you can make these pop. I don't know how big this little guy is here, but, I mean, that's a big giant. And you got four of them for, what, 100 bucks? Like, <laughs> that's a win right there. Four fire giants that all look pretty cool. They're all unique without even duplicating the model. And I think, I mean, are their heads different too? Yeah, and like, yeah, so you got four unique fire giants. You had at least four or five different fire giants you could get from Reaper Bones. Any frost giant could probably be painted as a fire giant. It's just the way, you know, it's a lot of us do with paint. But the way it seems is like a fire giant has more metal and chains. A frost giant has more pelts and fur, that sort of thing. Whatever. Awesome, awesome find here. These look like they're probably big enough. Easily pick up three of these for 75 bucks, and you got a squad of three Gargants, fire giant style. Going to look pretty sweet on the battlefield. And then last but not least, let's go back. Hopefully you enjoyed this, and hopefully I gave you a bunch of cool ideas for your giant army. I think these armies are going to look so good. I can't wait to see all of these on Instagram and Facebook groups and stuff, because you know people are going to go crazy. Some people are so good at sculpting models and things that they can transform these things into just brand new creations we couldn't even imagine. And uh, I was going to say the last little tip, check out uh, maybe the resin statues. Like when you're looking for bus or something like that, a lot of times there's some pretty cool decorative like statue type characters that might be perfect actually at this scale for the game to use as a big giant, right? Like you could probably find a Conan resin statue, Conan the Barbarian or Barbarian or Roman Legionnaire or something, all these different historical type guys or fantasy type ones. 
uh, video game characters that could either be the base of your conversion or maybe they're going to look cool enough just painted up and based instead of on their kind of more display plinth or whatever you could just display them or you know base them on their whatever standard size base that they're going to use in the game and i think it's going to be really cool to see so hopefully you enjoyed this one uh very excited to watch all the reviews for this new sons of behama codex review type stuff no real interest yet in playing sigmar again but this giant army seems fun i mean if it's playable so here's the problem with it it's possible it's too good so then you buy into it it's not that fun because it's too strong and then you just enjoy beating your friends up until you get nerfed or there's the other chance that it's just almost unplayably bad because so much stuff in age of sigmar has so much damage output even your 35 wound giant on a four up save is going to get decimated by like blocks of core troops or shooting or you know there's different things that are going to really wreck them Damage output in Sigmar is very high. Uh, or somewhere in between where it's actually a really cool army. And with a mix of, you know, you get the joy of buying that brand new, really nice looking GW kit at a very high price tag. Then you skip the new high price tag of that old GW kit that's been around for quite a while now. It's still a good giant kit, but, you know, it's been around. Uh, and then you get to explore all these cool other uh, miniature makers on the internet. So... And last thing before we go, please subscribe and hit the like button. This is definitely worth liking. I just saved you $500. Like and subscribe because I saved you $500. But uh, I was going to say, this is the beginning, right? If this army is popular or like this army being teased and released, there are lots of miniature designers and people that make 3D print files and all of that that, oh, I didn't even go into 3D printing. I never even looked. So go look and tell me if there's some cool 3D printed giants. This is just the beginning. Once this new scale giant, if he's popular, there's going to be a lot of companies that are going to make giants and stuff at this scale just to get a little bit of piece of that pie that GW has. So let's just wait and see all the fun stuff coming out. Make sure you go down below. Check out my eBay store. Links to Amazon. their affiliate links. I'll make a little bit of money if you buy something. Or let's all go buy some giants. Talk to you later.